Welcome to Dial Headlines. I'm Helen Nell. Thank you for joining us. Recently, the 2014 China Charity Fair successfully concluded in Shenzhen, Guangdong Province. During the three-day event, more than 120 city volunteers from both sides of the Taiwan Strait gathered together to introduce the city foundations to fairgoers. Meanwhile, the Buddhist NGO was also awarded by the organizers as one of the most transparent charities. With natural disasters occurring ever more frequently in China, more than 200 million people are affected every year. Over 100 million citizens have sought financial assistance, providing assistance to underprivileged families, offering timely help in times of disasters, and providing tuition and medical aid. These are the main themes at the 2014 China Charity Fair. Currently, I think the most difficult problem we need to take care of is how to provide medical services to the less fortunate. During the fair, Tzuji Foundation's Vice President Ling Bi Yu shares with everyone how Tzuji volunteers lend a helping hand in times of disaster. In the aftermath of the gas blast in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, Tima members mobilized to provide survivors with physical and emotional support. Following Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines, besides conducting aid distributions, the volunteers also organized free clinics. We not only need to help them physically, but also mentally. I believe a compassionate heart is the foundation to creating a harmonious society in China. Furthermore, the City Foundation was also awarded for its accountability and transparency by the organizers. Look, we have designed this according to the Chinese character Ren. If you look from the outside, you can see the word Ren clearly. This year, the City Foundation's booth was set up at the center of the exhibition hall. <laughs> I was very surprised that so many of the fairgoers were young. Many people showed an interest in charity missions and how to care for social problems. Many were curious about the Tsuji Foundation and wanted to know how we conduct our charity missions in China. By using posters and video clips, the volunteers show to members of the public the good deeds Tsuji has been doing in China and across the globe. City volunteers also incorporate some high-tech technology to spread city's charity missions. Normally, people are in a rush, so I will first ask them if I can offer them some positive words. If they agree, I will ask them to repeat the words of a certain things aphorisms and then invite them in. Next, I will ask them to scan a QR code which will link up to their Facebook page so they can check for updates from us more. City volunteers from both sides of the street gather at the 2014 China Charity Fair with the goal of teaching and learning from more than 900 charity organizations.